by telling you about one more study. And it's not because this study could also save a life. This study tracked about 1,000 novels in the United States, and they ranged in age from early birth to 90. And they started the study by asking, how much stress have you experienced in your last few years? They also asked, how much time have you spent helping out friends, neighbors, and people in your community? And then they used public records for the next five years to plot me up People who spend time caring for others showed absolutely no stress-related increase in dying, zero. Caring created resilience. And so we see once again that the harmful effects of stress on the health are not negligible. How you think and how you act can transform your experience of stress. When you choose to view your stress response as helpful, you create the biology of courage. And, you and when you choose to connect with others under stress, you can create resilience. Now, I wouldn't necessarily ask for more stressful experiences in my life, but this science has given me a whole new appreciation for stress. Stress gives us access to our heart, a compassionate heart that finds joy and meaning in connecting with others, and yes, your pumping physical heart, working so hard to give you strength and energy. And when you choose to stress in this way, you're not just getting better at stress, you're actually making a pretty profound statement. You're saying that you can trust yourself to handle life's challenges, and when you, and you're remembering that 